Hello all my friends out there in internet land. I want to welcome you back to making money on the internet. Today's topic we're going to cover is squeeze pages or landing pages, whichever term you prefer. They're exactly the same thing. I'm going to get right into it, okay? Let's say you have your business and, and you've been marketing, you, you're taking your good hard earned money, you take a thousand dollars and you're marketing, you put it in a pay-per-click campaign and you have built the best website, you sell the, the, the best tasting, the, the greatest jambalaya juice that man has ever made. A man, you know, okay, there's no such thing as jambalaya juice, but hey, I'm just using an analogy here. Anyway, getting back to the point. You've got the best product, you've got the best looking website, and, and you've marketed and you spent your money and all these people are coming to your website. Now what happens is they come to your website, they go through your, Mr. and Mrs. Jones goes through and, and they look and they find what they want and they want to get your jambalaya juice. So they get ready to go and buy it and they get on there and they order it and all of a sudden they find out after getting to the checkout, oh damn, my, my, my credit card's maxed out. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to wait till I get paid on Friday. Now it's Monday now. So he goes in and he says, okay, you know what, maybe I'll bookmark this site. Okay, so they bookmarked the site. Now, you didn't have a landing page, okay? Keep in mind, you don't have a landing page. Now, let's see what happens. Now, Friday comes along, and Mr. Jones forgot where he found your jambalaya juice. You, you might have been a pay-per-click. It might have been an email, but he forgot. So he's going to go to Google. He types in jambalaya juice. And the first thing that comes up, well, then he's going to go ahead and buy that. And guess what? If it wasn't you, you just lost that sale. Now let me tell you why it's important to have a landing page. Cause see, if Mr. Jones had gotten an email from you or however he got to your site, might have been a friend, a referral or something, he gets to your site and then immediately a landing page pops up. You might want to play a video in it or, or whatever has it. That page pays up and basically it says if you want to go any further, just give me your information. I want your name and your email address. That's all. Now if they're not serious, they're probably not they're probably gonna click out and go elsewhere. But if they're serious and they're really looking for your product, hey, it didn't cost them any money to do that. So they go ahead and click it. Now the key thing is you've captured that information. You got a potential buyer, somebody that's looking for your particular product. They want your, they want jambalaya juice. They can get it anywhere else, but they, but they found you. So this is the first place that there are. And you know, statistics say, generally before somebody makes a decision to buy, they usually got to see it eight or nine times or even more. And now I'm going to, now this gets back to the order response, what we covered last time. Now you've captured that information. They're in your autoresponder. Now what you can do, you can immediately set your autoresponder up to send Mr. Mr. Jones a thank you letter. Thank you for visiting my site. Let me tell you a little bit about it. And now he's got an email, he's got some information, and, and he's gonna probably save that in his email. Now you set your email, you've got an autoresponder sequence. So now maybe the next day, now Tuesday, you might send another email out, but it does it on auto. That gets back to the autoresponder telling them a little bit about it. Now on Wednesday, he might get another email. Same thing on Thursday. Now Friday comes the day to buy. Well, he's already seen about five or six of your emails already. So he's got the name of your company, your product, that's in mind. Now, Mr. Jones just gets paid. So now he's got your email, which got your URL and everything in it. He's not even thinking about going anywhere else. Because he know he wanted to get your product and you kept in contact with him. So now he clicks on it, bam, that, that money that you spent for your pay-per-click advertising has now paid off. Now multiply what I just said by a hundred. There's millions and millions of people on the internet. All you need is a few. That Now when we go back, I'm talking about these landing pages. Uh, there's a lot of different ones out there. There's some good ones and there's some not as good. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, companies, they have landing pages included with them. 
Now that's all good and well, but generally that's their landing page. So let's just say you have, you know, you're selling the jambalaya juice, and then one day you decide, you know what, I don't want to sell jambalaya juice anymore. Okay? I want to sell Mona V or Limu or something else. Or, or maybe you want to do something else. Well, that was their landing page. They captured that information. It's not yours. So you want your own landing page. So now what you can do is you can go ahead. I'm not going to tell you there's a whole bunch of different. I'm not going to even recommend any specifically. What you can do is go, go to Google and just type in landing page and evaluate for yourself and look at it what you need. But this is essential for your business because you want to capture that information. And again, like I said before, the power is in the list. The money is in the list. You want that list to continue to grow. And in order to, for that list to continue to grow, you've got to have a landing page. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You got to have it. You want to know where your business is coming from. And you want that list to grow so that you can market to them at a later date. Well, I guess we, we covered that right now. On the next segment I think I have down is, oh, that's one of my favorites. We're going to discuss about Twitter marketing. Now, we've discussed already about several of the, you know, several of the tools, and we're going to touch on some more tools as far as hosting, things like that. We're also going to touch on those. But I want to get a little bit about Twitter and marketing methods and, and what you can do to make money on the Internet. Again, this is Lawrence Bland from Making Money on the Internet. Check it out. Thank you for taking the time to come by and listen. You have a good one.